Hi everyone, today we've got something that's been sent to me. It's Sports Blue Cricket Bat, Players Force. The owner of the shop has sent this bat to me and so the specs are grade 1 premium, short handle, 2.8 to 213 weight range, 38mm plus edges, 16 piece cane handle, 9 plus straight grains, full profile, premium quality players edition bat, affordable price. So that's the key word there that you're going for something that's affordable but has also got all those characteristics. They obviously uh, sell a range of different things. So it comes in a rather I guess it's, it's a cheap bag, but it's got all the, the um, advertising for the brand on it. It's got a carry strap. No real padding on it. Um, it's pretty much what you see. And the bat is actually stunning to look at. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and maybe a 12th here. Uh, uneven, but straight grains. The grains are running pretty much straight through the toe, at least at the pressing point. I mean, they do skew off here, but that's normally a sign of a good bat. These bats are definitely made in Pakistan. The shape on this one is a mid-profile. So you've got here very much a sticker design that is reminiscent of the Lynx uh, X1s, the Isans, with the sports blue logo on it. Fairly noisy. They are embossed but I'm not sure how long that embossing will last. They're not textured, but I mean these are basically made to a price point. Uh, I can see here a tiny little bit of a pin knot up here, but nothing uh, that I can say or feel underneath that's going to worry me. Splice is concerned, I can't see any major issues there. As far as the handle goes, you've got a fairly thin round handle here. Um, and one thing I did notice, which is something at the manufacturer level, is underneath some of them you can still see some sanding uh, marks under the grip. I think the grip is actually glued on, but that's nothing that you can't fix as far as the thickness of the grip with another grip, particularly as this bat is a really light one. But I can roll this down a little bit further just to have a look. The binding looks to be well done. Uh, there's an ink mark there, something from the grip. I think I've just torn the grip actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I just tore the grip. And underneath here, there's no issues there with the splice. Seems to be a little bit of glue up here, but the actual gluing of the splice in here is fine. I'll give you the weight range as it came with the standard grip. So it was 2.77. Okay, so I'll put another chevron on. And this one's a little bit lighter than the one that was on, so 2.75. So if we add a second grip, we'd take it to 2.9. I will say that for 2.77, the bat is very well balanced. Uh, even though it's got a mid-middle, it uh, picks up really nice. So I'm just going to push down on the handle. Now the handle itself has three cork inserts. So putting my weight onto the handle, I can feel a little bit of flex but nothing to really worry me at this stage. So it's set on the website 38mm plus edges and there you go, 38mm. I measured the spine height to be about 61, 62 around there. The toe is very thick, it's about a 30mm toe and at the edges you've still got a lot of thickness. So you got 22 at the edge. Shoulder height is 15mm. Now that bat is full all the way through from the handle all the way down to the toe. So if I show you that profile, you'll see there that you've got a full convex shape all the way through. So this is a player's style bat. Mid low, going really well. Mid, it's at its peak. Mid high, still got a lot. And a 
high position and still pinging. It's actually a very nice pinging. Now the other thing with this bat, to get that weight, you've got a little bit of narrowing. So two millimeters has been taken off. All right, we'll turn it around and we'll bounce the ball on it. So as far as full and frank disclosure goes, this bat was actually given to me. I don't have to send it back. All right, we'll start off with the four piece. Dukes. Remember this is a 2.75 bat and it actually pings quite well. So hitting down low there, up high, in the middle. Very nice. So as far as seam marks go, Yes, there are a few seam marks, so the bat does still need knocking. Uh, you'll find a lot of Pakistani made bats will have uh, knocked in. Pretty much the same as all the other bats, which is about... So I've got a 10% reading there, so 10. I've found with um, most of the bats you've got between 10 and 12% is about average for, for the way bats are dried these days. But a nice thick toe should save any issues as long as the bat's properly prepared. And because of the way that it's been pressed with that bow in it, it actually is still nice and hard down here, so it's a good pressing. I think this will actually turn into quite a nice bat. So there you go. Sports Blue, thank you very much for sending that to me. And uh, if I do decide to sell that, any proceeds will go towards my daughter's medical costs. Thanks very much, Sports Blue. Bye.